Hi, in this video, we'll be covering the crawl feature of DataMiner. The crawl feature is what allows you to scrape data from sub-level detail pages, meaning pages you actually have to click into to see the additional data. But rather than clicking back and forth, DataMiner automation actually works by visiting a list of URLs. You would extract the URL from every individual person here, and then using that in a crawl, DataMiner would visit each one, apply a recipe, scrape the data, and then accumulate it all to a single file, which you could then, then which you could then download. So that's it, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is extract the URLs from every individual person here. We'll be doing this with the page scrape process. So I'll open up DataMiner and we'll click the scrape this page button. So open up our main window and then I'll go to the scrape, uh, so the page scrape section. And then here you'll want to pick a recipe that captures the URL for every individual person. You can review different public ones or you can build one yourself and use it from the My Recipe section. Uh, we already have one available here. Um, so I'll go ahead and just use the sandbox dash URLs. So I'll click the preview to make sure that it has it. Yep, we have the URL, URL here, so that's good. So the next step is to actually scrape these. Um, you can do this with a few different methods. We have new scrape, which is a single scrape, scrape and append, which is where it scrapes multiple pages and you can manually choose which pages. And then we have the next page automation. In this video, we'll be covering the next page automation process. We do have a, a video that covers the additional uh, scrape methods as well. Um, so I recommend taking a look at that video if you have any questions about these. So we have uh, five pages here, and uh, we actually have a video that covers next page automation as well. So uh, if you have any questions, we recommend taking a look at that. Um, for now, all I worry about is just capturing these URLs. So I'm gonna say there are five pages here. So we'll put five in here. Um, let's change the wait time to three seconds just so we can kind of speed things up a little bit. And then we just simply say scrape five pages. So at this point, DataMiner will now visit each page one by one, capturing the URL for every additional person. As it does that, it will be accumulating it to the uh, output. As you can see, it's capturing the data here. And then in a moment, we'll have the option to uh, download the file. So we are about to be on page five, looks good. Capturing the data. Cool, so now we are done. Uh, we have now captured the 20 URLs across these five pages. So the next step is uh, to actually go to the download tab. Um, here you have a few options. You can download it. Um, you do need to download it as a CSV. Uh, this would be if you ever needed to download it and do some sort of modification to the file and then you would upload it later. Um, however, since these URLs are good, we don't need to do any additional work. Uh, we can actually just save these within DataMiner to make it a little bit easier. So and this, uh, under the copy file section, I'll just give this a unique name. Let's call them uh, just URLs, and then I'll do save as. So now we have this data available in DataMiner. So the next step now is to go to the crawl tab on the left-hand side. And this is where we'll build that process where DataMiner visits each URL applies a recipe and uh, scrapes the data. So let's do a uh, load slash new crawl, create new crawl. And then here is, well, you'll, here is where you'll tell DataMiner uh, where the URLs are coming from. We have a few different options. Uh, we'll have a video that covers all of these kind of later down the road um, in our tutorials section um, to quickly go over them. You can do a type the URLs if you wanted to manually copy and paste or type them. Uh, you can make them from a formula um, and then you also have the saved option, which we'll be doing, and then the import CSV file option. Uh, we'll be doing the saved results or saved scrape results option, so I'll choose that. And then from this dropdown, you want to pick uh, the file that you saved. So we called ours URLs. And then here, you need to tell DataMiner uh, which column they're located in in the file. So they're in the first one. Um, you can just do this by simply clicking the column title. So we've done that. And now we just simply click check it. Uh, so this is the process where DataMiner will actually review the URLs, make sure that they're valid, and then also uh, provide uh, the recipes available that are um, available for that page. So now that is done. So we can go to the next step, which is uh, the recipe tab here. And at this point, you now tell DataMiner which recipe to use on these URLs. Um, you can use public ones. However, if you do not see any public ones, uh, you would have to then build your own. Uh, you would use that, or you would use our recipe creator tool for doing that. Um, but once you have your detail recipe, you'll see it here. 
or you'll see it under your My Recipe section. Uh, but having a, uh, a recipe for the different URLs is uh, very important and that is something that should be done before you set up this process. Um, so just as something to be aware of. So if you don't see any detail recipes, you'll have to address that before you can move on to the step. Um, we have a detail recipe here. So I'll go ahead and click the preview to make sure that looks good. Yep, the data is correct. So now we can do next step. Uh, this is where you simply just kind of give your crawl process a name. I'll just call it a crawl test. And then <clears throat> a few options below. Um, this is where you'll tell data miner how many URLs to scrape, uh, the limit range that is. Um, there's 20 rows in my previous scrape. So let's just change that to 20. Um, this is, I should also mention, this is a paid feature. Um, you can test it with a free data miner, but you will be limited to just the first three uh, URLs. Um, this is allow this will allow you to test it, and then if you uh, decide that it works for you, you can upgrade, and at that point you can do your full list of URLs. And then we have another setting, which is the wait time. We have the before scraping. This is what allows the page to fully load to make sure that all the data is available, um, so nothing's missing when the scrape is uh, performed. Uh, this will be, let's say, uh, five seconds for just an example. And then we have scraping uh, that is after. And this is more for the uh, that human element where it will kind of prevent any sort of issues with uh, site detection and just sites being suspicious of the amount of activity. Um, this wait time is what essentially uh, keeps you from looking like a, an automated bot. So if you ever have any issues with CAPTCHA or just um, certain uh, warnings from the website, we just recommend increasing the wait time here. Cool, so I think three is good by default. And then we have a few other uh, options here. Uh, we won't go into these uh, into detail, but we recommend taking a look at them. Um, so I think all this is good. So now we can go ahead and do uh, start crawl. This will now uh, essentially start by visiting that the first URL. You can see we're on the first profile. It will then apply the recipe, uh, scrape the data, and then it will move on to the next URL. So once it does that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. So we're first on Allen. Um, so it's going to wait five seconds, perform the scrape, and then wait three more seconds and move on to the next URL, which is Jack. Cool. So this looks good. Uh, so we can go back to Data Miner and start to review the data. So we can go to the Download tab. And as you can see, we have the information available here. So we have Allen, Jack, and this will just continue to accumulate as it goes from URL to URL. Um, a few things to just look at. If you go back to the crawl tab, there are some logs here you can review. And this will kind of give you some insight into what's going on. Uh, there's also some stats of the progress. Um, and then I guess one other thing to be aware of is this tab does need to be the open and active tab for the, the process to work. So if you need to work simultaneously, we recommend doing a new tab in Chrome and then just pulling the active one or the, the crawl one to a new window. And this will allow the process to continue while you can do your work here. And then uh, you also do need to keep the data miner window open because this is what's controlling the entire process. Um, so at this point, you can kind of just uh, set it and forget it. Um, so if we go to the download tab, yep, things are looking good. Uh, at any point, you can always download it or save it. Um, but that is pretty much it. So this covers the crawl process. If you have any questions, definitely send us an email. Um, if you have any need to build a recipe, we recommend looking at our recipe creator tutorials. Um, and we also have some additional, just kind of advanced um, or other topic videos in our help tutorials page as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.